Hey everyone, welcome back to another video, and today, yes, we have my face cam now. So hopefully you guys like it, and I apologize for last video, uh, there, I couldn't, they didn't record, so I didn't have the face cam for that video, and it was a little scuffed, so yeah, that was bad, but today we're going to be going over the second sneak peek for World, World War Doe Season 3, so I hope you guys like it, and we'll get, let's get right into the video. Hello and welcome back. This is sneak peek <clears throat> video number two for all things uh, season three, I guess. And, yeah, is this actually all things season three and all things, now we're starting to mix into season three and update 1.5. Hi, Ronieto, uh, the chief uh, uh, creative, uh, the creator of the game, and uh, me, Juan Duque, the content The content director. director. Mm -hmm. The, so, man, uh, the man behind the content, or in front, I'm not sure. Right now, in front. In front, right now, yes. Yeah. So, Hi, what, what can you tell us? Uh, let, what, which unit do you want to mention first regarding the let's new be units? Let's, let's begin with the, with the unit that you get from participating in seasons this time. So, be, as we mentioned in the last video, last season you got Minimander. Minimander. <laughs> now, this season, when you, as you progress, if you own the season pass, as wow. you progress through the season, you will unlock invisibility you can have a new so spell that turns like invisible units rexes. invisible of course <laughs> <laughs> cool. uh, so you cast Nintendo. invisibility uh, units become units within that the area of the spell will become invisible and will remain invisible until they attack or they are damaged so uh I've, this... I've been I've been having a lot of fun with uh, by making dr death invisible and having him run to the other side of the map. The <laughs> but there's a lot more yeah. uses this is just this is just my, my personal I, uh, hobby. Yeah, I tried it a, f a couple of times, guys, and trust me, this opens up a whole can of worms regarding new strategies, new <laughs> metas. Uh, Where is the command? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. It's invisible. Where is... But that's one unlocked by just by playing with the season pass and uh, right. progressing. Similar to Minimander, you will get a, a certain amount of cards. So when you advance a little bit in your challenges, you'll have a pretty good upgraded invisibility spell. Is the one that you will get at the end of the brawls. So well, but by, by during season three, by playing respawn and full deck. Right now in season two, or, or you know, as as you guys remember in season two, you got mammoth, right? Mm -hmm. At the end of the rainbow, let's say. Now at the end yeah, of the so rainbow, a new power. unit awaits. It's Abyssal. called Mischief. Again, since it's the Night of the Witch season, it's just another spell uh, <laughs> that evokes two fiends, two little demons. Actually, they're not demons. They're they're uh, they're what happens to the monkey when he eats a dojar. So if yes. the monkey eats a dojar, you get fiends. Right. And um, so never feed dojars to your monkey. Not after <laughs> not after 10 p.m. Yes. Not after midnight. Um, so. Yeah, the, the, well, the way that this spell works is that you place it on a tower. The fiends will be invisible, waiting for the tower. And the net in the, at the tower, they'll be like hanging there. And the next time your opponent activates the tower, the fiends will force it, it, yes. uh, break that, and they will make the tower inactive and deal damage to the tower in the process. So do you not get it? So they if make it malfunction you still get uh, yes. as soon as it's activated. So it's or a great preventive minute. spell that also forces mm. the that. opponent to kind of be aware of invisible stuff. Yes, again, and also be aware of when it's placed on the towers because if the player is not paying attention, if the opponent is, is not paying, att paying attention, uh, he won't see them and he will be... You'll you know, damage like, your oh, own tower. Yes. yes, oh crap, and, and you know, oh, I need to heal right now. He tries to heal and, you know, <laughs> it's just like shut down. The effect is, is just like a, a shutdown or, a, or how the chopper. Disables, disables the tower, the tower yeah. gets disabled. Uh, but now you don't have to, uh, you know, preemptively shut it down. The mischief will be there. But do you know how you get rid of fiends? Uh, well, the missile tower? Yes, correct. <laughs> yes, correct. <laughs> Detection. So if you use a, a missile tower or in the future, you know, we're, we're, we do plan to introduce more units that have the detection. That can see, yeah, that can see invisible uh, stuff. Yeah. That can see invisible stuff. Then Mischief oh, so gonna be will be a lot more, uh, detected and the uh, two fiends will run away. They'll, They'll run go away, like... Yeah. They're, because they're not brave. They'll just run away. Before we go into another one, 
mm -hmm. I want to talk about uh, the card that you will get at the end of the final brawl of the month, which will be a new brawl called What the Buck. What so let's talk buck? about What the Buck and then let's talk about What the Card. Let me just say that the What the Buck event has a very special mechanic mm -hmm. where all the troops, troops, not, not buildings or spells, all the troops you use will turn into buck. Well, and some spells that spawn troops and some buildings that spawn troops. <laughs> but every, like, troop, when troops are created into the game, they'll mm. transform into buck. What the buck? Yes. So that is, <laughs> that is the mode. Uh, will be the brawl at the, on the last week of October. That will be your weekend brawl. Um, and you guys will be competing in that brawl to reach the end of the milestone progression because at the end, the reward that awaits is a new <laughs> card called Porta Potty. <laughs> <laughs> and as you can see Show, by the design, shown here. yes, as you can see by the design, it's a, it's a, it's an it's outhouse. A yeah, it's, it's a Porta Potty. It's a, it's a Porta Potty. Yeah. It's so, a Porta Potty that that comes. Mm -hmm. You know, you know where that Porta Potty comes from? That comes from Box Ooh, we're gonna be Hometown. So, so the functionality is that it spawns Box. Fish tank and now Box. That is what the <laughs> Porta Potty does. So yes, it's fantastic. Uh, of course, uh, so working on it has been super fun. I know Andy has been having a blast animating it and, and, and doing the textures and stuff. Tell and, me about the sound one. Uh, and yes, every time. Uh, it's a spawner, it's a spawner building, it spawns box, and every time it spawns one box, of course, he flushes because it's the courtesy flush for the next spawn. And done. He, yes. exits, <laughs> exactly. he exits the porta party ready to fight. This is, a, this is, in my opinion, one of the greatest spawners that we could have created because I like fish tank has a lot of counters because there are many, many units and buildings that attack ground, but beehive has only a, a handful of counters uh, yeah. the commander being the main one actually because most yeah. of the counters except for bug uh or, or, except for bug like the missile tur turret is very specific yeah uh, so so this this is like the perfect counter for beehive in my opinion is having they a, face a, each other the <laughs> yes. porta potty versus the beehive yes and but i was leaving I don't know if this is the best, but it is definitely something good for last. It's it's great on many levels. Go ahead. I, I'll, I'll... Finally. It's the, the it's it's nice. the now newest artifact. Yes! New artifact. New, New artifact. artifact. Mm -hmm. uh, confetti. Finally, yes. Uh, you know, because a lot of players, ourselves included, have yes. been hoarding, hoarding is the right word, yes. dough shards for a while, right? And this oh, new artifact like comes in at so. a 240 Dosha cost, that. if I recall correct. Mm -hmm. So it's at the end of the current pro artifact progression. Uh, again, it's it's magic themed <clears throat> because it's the season of the witch, right? It's for spells. It's and it's for spell. It's called the Spell Lab. It's a, it's a, it's actually a collaboration between the mad scientist and the witch. It's it's their first collaborative work. Uh, science meets magic, and you exactly. get exactly. An artifact, both sides, magic, science. So what the spell lab does is, mm. the first use, you will get three random spells, not artifacts, that's the only rule. You don't get artifacts from spell lab. You you, you use spell lab and then you get your choice of three um, random spells that on the second side of the card, you can then use. So think of it as an emergency, you know, like, oh crap, you know, what spells should I get now? And then you have your choice of three spells. And so that's super exciting, of course, working uh, working on the spell lab was mostly <clears throat> done, of course, in the, uh, the development in the spell lab, in, uh, that's gonna in be the cool. dev lab. In the, in dev, the dev lab. lab. Uh, but we did create some visual assets for them, which we're showing right now. And it's super fun the way we are combining this randomness and uh, uh, well, as you can see, it's a coin slot uh, machine that yes. spits out spells. And uh, it goes hand in hand with something that we here at Jam City have s loved seeing, and that's the variety of decks that are emerging with the new daily challenges and mission totally. challenges. And now with these new invisible units and the spell lab, the, the meta is going to be ever-changing. Well, well, like one of our top concerns, uh 
even on a personal level, is is looking out for for um, how the meta is currently feeling and what units are uh, you know under underperforming and which units are <clears> OP. <throat> uh, because we really want everyone to to like. I think one of the more more, more like fun Rex parts about this game is Last time also the hatch. you know sitting down before the battle. And trying to come up with crazy combinations. I've seen some really cool decks from our creators. Some really crazy stuff. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so, so I think that's it for this uh, sneak peek video. Uh, sneak peek. Yeah. What's coming in the next one? Oh, well, we're going to be talking about something huge regarding version 1.5 of the game. Oh, that's a big one, guys. And, Do not miss out on that. Okay, so sneak basically, peek. it uh. has to do with what secondary effects be seen huh. during battle what you just spoiled it okay see no, you on but... the next video <laughs> no, <laughs> 1.5 what we're going what, what we're about to reveal is game changing I, i'm not hyping it up i'm not hyping it up but it is yes it you is. don't want to miss the next video and uh, if you like this content, please like and subscribe to the channel. <clears throat> Leave your comments below. Share your favorite decks, your favorite Favorite. brawls, what brawls you like, what brawls you don't like. Uh, join the Discord server. Be nice. And wow. uh, that's it. So, See you on the next one. It's going to be very interesting. Bye, guys. Hopefully, Bye. Rex Rex needs a buff. Like, the time for the egg it has to be a shorter time because it just counters too easily. And, yeah, so hopefully you guys like the video. Um, new face cam, too. Hopefully you like that. And uh, are excited for the new update because I am very much. So, yes, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Peace.